Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us today. It's always a privilege and a pleasure to bring you Becoming the CEO of Your Health. And today we are going to talk about relationships. And I know most of the time when you guys hear relationships, you're thinking like spouses, husband, wife relationships, not today. <laughs> I have two amazing guests that are also friends of mine, but I really came to this topic because I was listening myself to a podcast with Brene Brown and she happened to be interviewing Reese Witherspoon and Carrie Washington and they started talking about their friendship. And it was so beautiful to hear them knowing this relationship as these two women, these two professional women. And I just so happened to have dear friends, Carrie and Sharice or Reese. And I thought, oh my gosh, they have this incredible friendship and it needs to be shared. Because I think people need to know we, how important relationships are in our life. So you guys, first, so we have Carrie Dickey and Sharice Matthews, and they have both become friends of mine. We live in a similar all community and we've done business together. And both of these ladies are an absolute shining light in my life, but I'm going to have them share a little bit about their relationship and friends and the importance. So Carrie, why don't you start about like how you and Sharice even met? Absolutely. I'm laughing because you told us the story and I didn't catch that it. it was a Reese and a Carrie. Oh, yeah, a Reese <laughs> so and a Carrie. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I didn't put that together. So that is perfect. Well, I didn't put it together until you just did, Carrie. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you're kind of a late bloomer. She's, <laughs> yeah. We won't get into all the things that Sharice has learned later in life, but it's so funny. You can share some of those, but uh, you know, Sharice and I met, honestly, it's been 30 years ago. I cannot believe we were in a room and we were getting ready to embark on our new business together. We had been at it maybe a few months and uh, there were tons of people in the room. And I just remember her big, bright, white smile, her laugh, how she threw her head back when she laughed and she had a bright red suit on and she was the row in front of me and three chairs over. And I said, I have to know that one. And literally, I think I reached over and I said, my name's Carrie Dickey, who are you? And we were fast friends. I don't think we've ever looked back. And I'm so grateful that I had what it took to <laughs> reach across the chairs that day and say hello to Sharice Matthews. It's been uh, an incredible 30 years. I've watched her go from a 21 or 22 year old single, just graduated from college girl, um, <laughs> sharing an apartment with, sharing a room with a girl and an apartment with two others. So a total of four girls. Uh, two married with three kids, two dogs, and a big, beautiful home, and um, she's still smiling. So it's been a it's been a journey. Oh my god! I mean, and you guys, you know, some of you feel that energy. You meet somebody, or maybe you aren't even really meeting them, but you just see them. They're in your environment, and you're like, they're my tribe. They're my vibe. Their energy. I already, I know, I need to know this person or become friends with them. And uh, it does. It takes courage, right, Carrie, to even reach out and say, "Hey, hi, how are you?" <laughs> It does, yeah, it does, but um, I, I was very, very shy as a little girl and I've made it my life's work to learn how to reach out and build a bridge. So by the time, well, I was pretty rough at it, but uh, it was worth it to me. So yes, gotta reach I out think, and build a bridge. <laughs> well, Carrie, I, knowing you, I think that it just is, comes very, very natural. But Kelly, I have to say that I have always said to Carrie, I love our teeny tiny little gang because we are a little gang. The two of us together, <laughs> we've gone through ups and downs and sideways and, and back around. And I'll tell you what, we are a little gang. And that's what it feels like because we can laugh hysterically to where we have no breath left and we can cry hysterically where we're <laughs> screaming. And then, you know, we, we get back, we hug and in the same breath, we're like, okay, so so let's keep going. That's just our friendship. And it's always been, hasn't it, Carrie? It's wild, but it's been, I have to say, I cherish our friendship. Me too. I love you. Yeah, me too. My eyes are filling up. <laughs> oh God. I mean, I hope each and every one of you out there have a friendship like this, right? And the, what it does for us on the inside. And I think maybe people today with what's been going on this past year, and will continue to this next year, maybe feeling some that they're not always in person 
with their person, <laughs> uh, whatever that may be. I, I just so happened through this. Um, one of our daughters never watched Grey's Anatomy and we're literally going through the whole series. And uh, um, Meredith Grey and Christina Yang talk about their person. They're each other's person, right? When you find that, it's unbelievable. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I have to butt in right here. Oh my gosh, I have to butt in right here because when you said my person, I'm like, oh my gosh, did Sharice tell her in advance? And I know she did not, but I'm telling you, uh, I got divorced four and a half years ago and um, it was tough. I mean, it was really, really tough. It was my decision to leave. And I honestly believe it was my decision to grow. I did not, I left a beautiful human behind so that I could go become all that God wanted me to be in this life. And, um, Wow, I didn't know when I jumped out that I was going to become a double empty nester, that I was going to lose my dog, my home, my my 26 year marriage, my 28 year relationship, and a whole lot of friends that come with that. You lose a lot when you walk out. And um, I'll tell you what, Sharice, <laughs> whether she liked it or not, she became my person. And uh, up until very recently, she has been my person, the person that I have laughed on, cried on. And here's the crazy part. There are three other people in the, well, probably at least 10 other people in the world. And uh, she is their person as well. But she has never, ever, ever made me feel that I was a, a burden not ever. And I know that there have been times when I was a burden. So I am in so much gratitude for um for Sharice lending me uh lending me her, <laughs> her her letting me have her as my person for the time that we shared that unbelievable okay so Carrie you said I was your person until recently what I'm not your person anymore <laughs> we're, we're the teeny tiny gang we are Come the on. teeny tiny gang but you don't have to hold me up anymore that's the thing it's so okay. awesome you've been oh, well. holding me up and I I am in so much gratitude and you know what I'm sorry I'm hogging the time, but I have to say that sometimes being, you, you know, a person has to say the hard stuff. And I will never forget being in Kauai a few years ago. And she's like, you know, you have to figure out what you want, Carrie, in terms of this divorce. And I'm like, what do you mean? I don't know what I want. How am I supposed to know what I want? I don't even know what I want. How am I? And she's like, well, you know what, sister, unless you figure out what you want, you're never going to get what you want. And I had had a couple glasses of wine. I got very emotional. I looked at her and I'm like, why are you being so mean right now? And it, it was unbelievable. Even when I said it, I knew that it was exactly what I needed to hear to snap out of it and become an adult. Stop being a baby and a little girl and wake the hell up. And I'm telling you, there is nothing like your best friend and someone who acts as your person <laughs> to be able to slap you and wake you up. And that's what good friends do. They wake each other up and say, look at you're better than that. Yeah. And I, don't you guys I, I think that there's that. like a season, right? There's a season. One of you needs more support than the other. You're always there. And sometimes you both need it or neither needs it or one needs it. And, you know, again, you guys have seen each other get married and have children. And I mean, these are huge life changes and events that are happening to go through. She knows exactly where I'm going. Ke Kelly, it's like, I love that you have us on here because I feel like I can read her mind. I can read and yours. you know exactly, right? When you said that, Kelly. Oh yeah. Going. So let's back up. All right, let's back up. She is saying that I am her person. She is my person as well. And this goes way back. There was something about Carrie that um, when I first met her, I mean, we could talk a million miles a minute and we can interrupt each other and we can go to 50 different tangents and we can follow each other no matter where the conversation goes and we can come back around in a circle. And one time my mom was sitting here and she's just like, I don't even understand what just happened. And then <laughs> Carrie came over and we were talking blah, 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 and Carrie ran out. She's like, I don't know what happened. I'm like, oh, I can tell you everything we just talked about. But the, the thing about Carrie is that something that I love about Carrie is She's always taught me, you teach people how you want to be treated. And with Carrie, you were never late anywhere. And it was just, you're never late to her anywhere. So if she's waiting, you're on time. And it's because you teach people how you want to be treated. So Carrie, with her first son, I mean, we're excited. This is the first child between us. This is where you were going. going. <laughs> yeah, you knew 
was going there. And so Carrie calls and she is at least 20, everything's 20 minutes away. She's at least 20 minutes away. <laughs> You're gonna laugh at that Carrie too. But she calls and says, she's like, Reese, I'm, I'm in labor. No, my um, water broke. Her water broke, her water broke. Well, I made it to the hospital before Carrie. <laughs> Beat me to my own birth. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I have to get there now. And so I arrive and I'm like, there's no Carrie Dickie anywhere. And where, where's, where's she? Where's the baby? Where, like, they're not even here yet. But I, I love telling that story because of the fact that that Carrie has been not only such a close friend, but when you have such a friendship like this, there's mentorship that comes along with friendships. And when you can respect the other person and have the other person have no judgment about you at all. And that's the key is when you really think about people in your life where you go, I love them to their bones. And what is it about that love that you love them so much? And I believe it's because that person has no judgment they know you in the good, in the bad, in the up and the down. And that is Carrie. And I'll tell you, she's one of the most courageous person, people I know. Um, she's of course the most optimistic and enthusiastic and energetic uh, person. And that's why I love her. But I, but I had so much fun meeting her there at the hospital before the birth. Oh my gosh, you were my right-hand girl. <laughs> My husband was cracking jokes and cheating at the game you guys were playing. And I remember what the, what was that girl that came on? Not uh, Oprah Winfrey. Rosie. The other one. What was Rosie. her name? Rosie O'Donnell. Oh my gosh. And I'm like, turn her off and help me have this child. <laughs> Sheree stepped up. She really did. She cracked down and helped me birth that boy. <laughs> and then after you birth the boy, I'm, I'm usually calm under pressure. And then after you birth, I was like, I ain't gonna, never going to do that. And I did it three times. <laughs> <laughs> right. Unbelievable. In between to forget. Right? That. Just long enough in between to kind of yes. forget for the moment. Yes. yes. Exactly. Exactly. But it but it is, it's you know, that's what makes this relationship special is that we really I I feel like are very, very honest with one another. There's integrity between our relationship and honesty that, you know, I can call Carrie up at any time and she'll be very honest with me. And she can also, Carrie has a superpower. You know what that superpower is? She has, she actually, she has two superpowers. <laughs> Carrie can make people feel important. Mm. That is for sure. Okay. But she has another superpower and that is that she can justify anything. <laughs> For you, <laughs> our, our um, even to the point where our credit cards commingle. <laughs> yes, <laughs> to the point where I'm like, cards. "Yeah, you want to meet us? And you want to meet me at Nordstrom? Okay." And it's like, well, I don't know if I should get that. Just shop with Carrie because anything can be justified. <laughs> right back at you on that one, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Oh because God. well that's you know what I do believe in relationships that you know you could we all have many friends right at many different levels and it is interesting those who we actually take lessons from because we don't actually learn or let everyone be our mentor or take lessons from everyone even though they're our friends right mm -hmm. so there's something that just makes it unique that you said Sharice that to have no judgment to be able to help I mean, mentor, we don't really think of a friend as a mentor, but really we learn a lot from each other, but we happen to be, we need to be open to it. But the other person also needs to love us unconditionally to say, let me help you with this, or you got to learn this or something. But many people just walk around and think like, no, I'll stay in my lane. It's not necessarily my business. And they don't take that extra time because that's what makes us grow as people, right? Is those lessons. Absolutely. Um, just as, as Carrie mentioned that I was asking her, you know, what do you want? And that, that turned into a, a knockdown drag out on the beach. And that was fun. <laughs> but we, got, we got over it. Yeah, very quickly. Um, but there was also a time where um, I was, well, I was trying a business and it was just flat out failed. And there was a point where Carrie said, Reese, you need a job. 
look me in the eyes, you need to go get a job. And here I was a college you know, graduate and I was pretty much down and out. I was off my dad's payroll and she's like, you need a job. And those were those moments where I'm like, oh gosh, it's hard to hear, but it definitely is where the other person loves you so much. They're going to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. And that's what I appreciate about Carrie so much. One other story, if I may share, um, she is a great mother and I've learned a lot from her, uh, her parenting because I will never forget that my dad, um, saw she, she came for, I think it was Thanksgiving, wasn't it? One time, yeah. Carrie, was like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving and, uh, her kids are really little and, uh, she's health conscious, of course. And one of her children wanted a cookie and she split it in half and said, okay, you can have half now. And my dad being very health conscious, he just loved the way that she handled the situation, even though it was just so simple and just splitting the cookie in half instead of just giving the kids anything they wanted. And, um, and he's always reminded me of that and what a great parent she is and, and teaching her kids lessons along the way and not giving them everything that they ask for, even though she very easily could supply everything they ask for, but, um, about, you know, and now at mine are coming up into that age, uh, mine are a little further behind in age than hers. And just watching that and going through that and having the same heartaches that she went through. And, um, it's just really, really special to have a friend that's already been through it and they can help you walk through it as well. So I love you, Carrie. You know, it's, that's so true. I think the decade that we have between us has been such a blessing. It keeps me young and it reminds me that I did my job as a parent uh, the, to the best of my ability with what I had at the time. And, um, and, it, and, and just to be able to share and to know, like I, we've had this conversation recently where I'm like, Reese, seriously, there is nothing more important than where you are right now. You cannot have any guilt about not working more. And you're, yes, you can say no to that. I give you permission to say no to that. Um, even to walking through the mall the other day and she had these hot flashes and I was busting out laughing, not at her, but with her. I remember that. Thank goodness I have my hormones under control. But the decade between us has been such a blessing. And one of the, the biggest blessing I've seen is the growth. In fact, it kind of irritates me that she's 10 years behind me because she's going to end up definitely further along than I am by the time we get out of here, this place called Earth. But I have seen her grow. The death of her father-in-law I know I probably wasn't there to the extent that I could have been at the time. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't, I just don't, I haven't had a great experience with death. Um, I did lose my brother to suicide a little, about a year and a half ago. And I have deep experience with death now, but that was the first person close to me that's ever passed. And so I don't know if I was present to Sharice, uh, maybe the way I should have been, I'm not sure. I know I was present to her with the loss of her father. Uh, but to see the growth and the maturity, and I think that both of us, I think, Sharice, she'll agree that we both have calmed down. That while we have that wild, crazy, laughing, hysterical side, we also have... Uh, a calm maturity, thank goodness, um, we would have combusted and spun off the planet <laughs> together. But um, I, I'm really grateful for feeling more grounded today than I have probably ever. And I've seen a level and a, a growth in Sharice that is such a, such a, such a gift to witness. And mm -hmm. I really have to tell you that Sharice, you are, mm -hmm. you are something. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you asked me to come up with something I don't like about her, you'd have to put a gun to my head and I still couldn't come up. I, no, same here. I don't know anything. Love same it. Same here. Oh my gosh, I love you so much. Oh, go ahead. Keep going. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> it's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh, wow. Remember that birthday card I got you that one time and it's like, blah, 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 blah. Your turn. Blah, 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 yes. blah, blah. Your turn. Always think of it. Always think of it. <laughs> You know what, you guys, this is amazing because often we talk to each other when there's an issue, a problem, a something, or just mundane day to day, but there's not as often that we actually just call someone to tell them why we care, why they're so great in our lives, why they're important, right? I mean, we talk about the same thing. It could be our kids. It could be 
And so I would encourage everybody out there, you know, that's listening that have you today told somebody something nice and definitely be sure not just your spouses, your children, um, but reach out to your good girlfriends and tell them why, you know, reminisce a little bit, why you love them so much, because I think that um, we all like to get those compliments, right? About what's special about each and every one of us and have those memories in time um, because we all need more. And you know what, Kelly? I think one of the biggest things that, um, that I think women need to remember is that we, we need to celebrate one another. We need to lift one another. Uh, there was, you know, I'm sure there's a time when women are young. I didn't really bond with women when I was young. I was more in, I just like felt better with the guys, to be honest. But boy, when I started really learning about women and their depth, and especially women that were not just like me, Sharice and I are very, very different and we're twins. It's bizarre. So I think we need to lift one another. We need to look for the common threads, the good, and, and, and look for ways to celebrate each other. You know, it's a, life is hard enough. We need to celebrate one another. Absolutely. Ah, uh, that's fantastic. Absolutely. I'm just taking all these notes, you guys, because I like to share with each other. But um, okay, so as far as relationships and women, you, I mean, I love that. And we could end right there, Carrie, about like celebrating, lift each other up, things like that. So Sharice, I'm going to maybe your one little closing tip on relationships. You know what I mean? It could be just um, maybe something you thought you were, didn't, would never get out of a relationship. Maybe it could be just a tip for people about like, how you and Carrie through 30 years is a really long time. And you were in, like Carrie said, 10 years difference in age. You're in very different stages of your lives too during those times. Like, how did you guys stay so connected? Well, first and foremost, we're meant to be in communion with one another. That's it. I mean, people are meant to be together with others. You know, if you're out on the on an island by yourself, you're probably not going to survive very long, right? We're meant to be together. And I really feel that with our relationship, the reason why it's worked so well and is we have so much admiration for each other after all these years is because of the fact that we, we don't really get our feelings hurt very easily, do we, Carrie? Like, it's like, oh, you know, if, I, if I'm not invited to something or she's not invited, just, who cares? We're not, we're not wrapped up in that because we know what each other means to each other, we, you know? And I just feel like, like we literally could call each other in the millisecond, hey, you know, can, can you make it? Can we go grab a, a bite to eat right now in, you know, in 20 minutes? Oh no, okay, no big deal. And, okay, yes, now go. And, and it's, we've always had that where we can on, a, on just a very quick notice, we can be somewhere. And if the other one can't make it, it's okay as well. Mm -hmm. So we don't get our feelings hurt. We just know that we're busy or, it's you know, so we're- Separate lives, don't we? We have completely separate lives and then we come together. And yes. it, makes it, it makes it really interesting. There's so much to talk about all the time. Right. I remember, I just have to say, Sharice, I remember when she was very young and she used to say, I wonder what my future husband is doing right now. This girl is literally the master at manifesting. <laughs> you know where we're going after that, right, Reese? <laughs> manifesting. <laughs> anyway, she manifested her husband. She manifested exactly the dude he would be. And I, I used to sit there and go, I, she, I wonder what my husband is doing right now. He's going to be this. He's going to be that. I had no experience with manifesting. It was amazing because she created Ron. Poof. When he showed up. <laughs> what else did you manifest, Sharice? <laughs> you know what? I always say that I skipped down a yellow brick road and that yellow brick road is pretty fun. And, you know, it's all about the friendships that you can pull along with you and to skip down. And you are that one person, Carrie, that skips down that yellow brick road with me. So, no, it really truly is. It's like how, again, what do you want? If you don't know what you want, how can you see it? Mm -hmm. And how can you eventually have you know, your needs met in that way. So I just believe that, that our friendship has just gotten closer and closer and closer over the years because we've grown up together. I feel like, have we not, we both yeah. are very, very interested in personal growth. Um, we're both interested in, uh, no, no stagnation, but how can we improve our lives and then how can we bring each other along with it? And so that's why I just believe that, that hanging out with, with some one like Carrie as well, because like I said before, she's one of the most courageous people I know and will go so far out of her comfort zone that she's pulled me along out of that comfort zone, you know, with her. 
and gladly, <laughs> like very few people I'll jump off a cliff with, <laughs> Carrie, and you're one of them. Wow, you guys, you know what I, so many great points. I, I absolutely am enjoying this so much. Um, yes, Sharice, yeah, just add one other thing. Yeah, too. go for it. Carrie has always had a service mindset mm -hmm. to serve other people whether it has been her family, whether it's been with, within her business or her friends, and she's had this service mindset all the time. And, oh, and she can remember people's names better than anyone I know. And she listens. So when she, she can dig in and find out about somebody's story or somebody's um, life and know more about that person in five minutes than anyone, you know, maybe some of the their best friends even know about them. And she has that knack. That's another one of her superpowers. But it truly in that, it just goes to show you what a great listener she is and how much in that serving other people comes out. And that's huge because most people in this day and age are all about serving themselves. And uh, with Carrie, that's not the case. And so it's it, she's been able to be extremely successful in business and with friendships because she makes other people feel important and she's there to help them. So that's another lesson that she's given me. So I, I'm super grateful for that. Thank you. Uh, you guys, well, so much, I think life gets so busy. We get wrapped around just the people who were around and whether it's our kids and the parents of our kids, the activity. So we're with similar people, similar things, similar ages, everything similar. And I do think when you, there's a difference in interest, hobbies, whether it be age, whether it be where people live, you actually have a deeper connection and growth because it's not just, you know, how'd your kid do at the baseball game today, right? It's just, there's something more because you're not there put together by accident. You're actually there creating um, because you take a little effort. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Well, anything else, Carrie, you want to close with? You guys, this has been amazing. And I hope all the women out there and everybody in the world out there listening are like, I have not tapped into my person yet. <laughs> I have not, I, I really need to flourish these friendship relationships. You know, I guess the only thing that comes to mind is that you need to be authentic and raw so that people can really see you. Mm -hmm. And um, it's not an easy thing to do to let your hair down and let your vulnerability uh, be seen. And um, I think that's one advantage I have is that I, I don't have I don't have anywhere to go or anywhere to hide. And um, so we, we saw each other immediately. And um, I, I'm just in gratitude um, that, that Sharice calls me on the carpet when I need, you know, when I need a, a spanking, I get it. And uh, when I need the support, she knows that I need that support. And again, the no judgment thing is massive. So um, the more open you are and the more willing you are to be a friend, um, then you'll have a friend, so. Ah, uh, you guys. Well, thank you so much. We're all busy. Life is busy. I just appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to share with people. And I know that they got tremendous value in listening to the two of you beautiful women today. So Carrie, Sharice, it was a pleasure to have you on. Thank you ladies so, so much. And we'll say good night uh, or goodbye for now, everybody. Bye. Thank, thank you, Kelly. Kelly.